Hello, this is Angelia with today's Bible reading. I think it's working now. We were having some technical difficulties. Um, uh, this, today's Bible reading comes from Revelation 1, Message to the Seven Churches. And even though it's uh, to the seven churches uh, then, it's also a message to the rest of us. John to the seven churches that are in Asia. Grace to you and peace from him who is and who was and who is to come and from the seven spirits who are before his throne. Okay, now, the seven spirits before his throne. Um, people want to discuss and, you know, figure out because, you know, nobody knows for sure. People say it's the seven highest saints, it's Jesus, and, you know, maybe some angels, uh, saints, uh, the creatures, but all we know is it's the seven spirits before his throne. There are other people who say uh, how Jesus said um, he comes, you know, into the world. He has other flocks and other people to go to save them. So some people say uh, the other prophets of other religions are some of these seven spirits. We don't know. We're not in heaven. We don't know. Um, we can assume Jesus is one for sure, I'm thinking, <laughs> you know. Uh, and uh, Peter's the rock that he builds church on, so we can assume Peter's up there. Um, but uh, other than that, we don't really know. And like I said, there's in our little, you know, uh, steady, steady part down here, there's several theories. So, you know, we're just going to have to see when we get there. Don't, don't get left. <laughs> and from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead... Um, because Jesus is going to witness for us when we come before the throne. Um, remember, he's our Savior, and he's going to say, you know, that one's mine. My blood covered him. You know, he's good. Let him in. Uh, and, um, you know, he is the firstborn of the dead. You know, some people like, oh, I saw a whole movie about Jesus became a zombie, and, you know, there were zombies and is in some dystopian future thing, and I'm like, why would they do this? This is crazy. It's just so disrespectful. Um, but, uh, you know, he rose from the dead. And in the end, when he comes back for us, if we're dead, we're going to rise. You know, he's going to catch his up in the air with the people who are coming up who are still on the earth. And he's going to take us. So, you know, as I say, don't get left behind. And the ruler of the kings of the earth. Because um, Jesus is in charge. No matter what any king decides, Jesus has the last say. So, he is in charge of everything. To him who loves us and released us from our sins by his blood. Of course, that's Jesus. And he has made us to be a kingdom. Because we are the kingdom of God. We are in the kingdom of Christ. Uh, we are, you know... Uh, Kings and queens, prince and princesses, whatever you want to say. Priest to his God and Father. To him be the glory. Excuse me. So we are like priests to God and Jesus. So, you know, um, that's why a lot of us, you know, are called to ministry. We feel that pull, you know. Um, and when you feel that pull, no matter how much you resist, you can resist for a while, but then eventually... God's like, I want you to do this. And then you, you kind of have to. <laughs> you know, your spirit just says we got to do it. Um, and the dominion forever and ever. Um, amen. Because, you know, God is the one who deserves glory. And, you know, he's the one who made it all. Behold, he is coming with the clouds. And every eye will see him. Even those who pierced him. Um, so... Um, you know, when Jesus comes, he's going to come in a cloud. He's going to come down the same way he went up. There are a lot of people who say, you know, he's going to be this person or that person. He's going to come as a thief in the night. You're not going to see him. Um, and now he did say that, but it says here he's going to come in the clouds. So he's going to be brought down the same way he went up. Um, so, you know, uh, don't be deceived. Um, if people say, you know, so-and-so is from God and, you know, he's the next coming and... No. <laughs> Just no. Um, 
and all the tribes of the earth will mourn over him. So, you know, those who pierced him, um, clearly, they're long gone, you know, but uh, a lot of people say that could mean the Jews, you know, because the Jews are the ones who put him up, you know, uh, to be destroyed. Not all of them, you know, but the Pharisees and Sadducees and those who were jealous. Um, and of course, you know, uh, people who don't believe are going to mourn when Jesus comes because they're going to be like, holy, you know, uh, I didn't believe it. Now it's happening and I'm left behind. And so, yeah, there's going to be some mourning happening then. So it is to be. Amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is and who was and who is to come. So he was the beginning and the ending. Um, and uh, he is God. He was God. He is God to come. Because he's the God of space and time. He is not, you know, finite like we are. Um, he can probably go back and forth, you know, past, present, future. You know, he's the God. And that's why I, I, I knew a woman who said, pray about things that happened in the past. Because God's the God of time and space. And maybe he can go back in your past and change things. You know, and I had never thought about that. I was like, oh, well, that's pretty cool. Um, and so I have done that upon occasion. Um, and even though I don't think God erased anything, because I think, but how would I know if he did, you know? <laughs> but um, I think uh, that he made it more easy for me to manage things that happened in the past. He may be more mentally and emotionally strong to be able to deal with things and turned bad things around for good. So, um, he is the Almighty. So God is the Almighty. He is the creator of everything. Um, he's in charge of everything, you know. He's given Jesus his right hand, you know. He's his right hand man who gave him dominion over everything. So, you know, um, this is a message to the seven churches at the time and also to us. Amen. Um, please like and uh, share this word so we can spread it around the world. If you want to help me out, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you want to help me out even more, uh, go to my Patreon page and become a patron. That's all for now. Until next time.